Hello everybody, welcome to Ellie News. Thanks for joining me. First of all, uh, just a little warning and apology, I think. Um, this is an expensive beer. This isn't a cheap beer by any stretch of the imagination. So, not for everybody. I do realise that. But some of you might want to know what this tastes like. Hence the reason for the review. So, this fella is the Verdant um, Put It Triple IPA. Coming at 10% ABV. I got this one from the House of Ales. It cost me £11. I know, it's a pricey number. Um, but these expensive beers don't come around too often um, and I was really really keen to try this one a um, couple of my bottles not a couple, a couple of the other bottle shops I, I could go to didn't have it House of Ales have got it I'll put a link into their website in case anyone wants to have a look at it and try it Ooh. That has poured with a really idiotic head from me, so I apologise for that. So, that better not be our dog. Um, so that has poured a hazy amber colour, would we call it? A little orangey amber colour with a lovely foamy white head. It looks good. I must say on the pour, it did seem to pour quite thick. Um, so this will, oh, the aromas, are lovely. So this will have lots of oats in it, as it has to do anyway to give it that haziness. Um, but yeah, really thick, so it's going to have loads of stuff in that. It's going to be, I think this is going to be a good one, guys. Um, let's get the aroma out, shall we? Let's have a sniff. I don't want to waste any of this. It's costing too much to waste. Oh, there's a little bit left in there. It is a very hoppy and very juicy and very fruity aroma. You got pineapple, you got some mango coming out of there. Bit of citrus, bit of lemon coming through, yeah. And that aroma I adore in these beers, it's got some peach in there as well. I do like peaches. That smells really, really good. Right, let's taste it, shall we? Cheers, everybody. It tastes boozy it tastes stronger than 10 percent actually it does taste much much stronger than a 10 percent beer um yeah this this brewery a cracking brewery um i'm not sure how long they've been going for i really should know that it seems like they've been going for about oh, i was gonna guess i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna try and guess um yeah, but it's not. They're a relatively new um, brewer. Putty is one of those beers that people wait to come out for. They are just a really good brewer, and this uh, the putty is probably one of the pinnacles of the things they do. I know people have been waiting for this one to come out. It's nice it is it's like the aroma it is a very juicy and a very fruity ipa the flavors are in there the flavors are in there i've got some grapefruit I've got a little bit of pineapple lots of mango it's got a bit of citrus in there as well which is lemony a bit of lemon yeah some lemon coming through but it has got that 
peachy, passion fruity flavour as well coming through. And it's not retaining the head. Strong beers don't like to retain heads. I wish I knew the chemistry for it, but I don't. Well, obviously the head's protein, so the alcohol must do something to the protein, which breaks it down quick, is all, is all I'm guessing at. Mm. Now, the flavour that's in this, might sound odd this, but it's actually a pleasant flavour. It's like a stewed, stewed vegetable flavour. I think the term is vegetal. It's got a vegetal thing to it going on, which just means it's. I don't know how they get it. I don't know if this. I don't know if it's the, the kind of the hops that are over stewed and it brings that flavour out. I don't know if. I, I don't honestly don't know. Somebody's going to have to put something in the comments because somebody will know better about the brewing process how the how, how that vegetal uh, flavours in there. But it's in all there. It's like their signature thing. Um, so beers from Burton have that tang, that watery tang. Brewdog have got a tang as well, and, and it's probably the way they condition their water. And these have got the, these these guys have got the same thing. You, you can tell. You can't tell instantly, but you know you can't tell 100%. But you, it's like, like their signature in their beers. And stewed vegetables. Are they had a little burp. With all that vegetable flavour, um, it doesn't sound nice, but it works when it comes to a beer. When it comes to, <gasps> excuse me, when it comes to a hoppy beer, it works. And finally, flavour-wise, because I'm not finished yet, it's got that. Um, there's a little bit of pineyness to it as well. It is a very good beer. It is a really good beer. Is it worth 11 quid? I think people have sold it for more than 11 quid as well, to be fair. And I, I know they're not, it's an expensive beer to make this one because of the quality of the ingredients going, because the amount of um, hops has got, uh, that's gone into this, the malt, the hops are expensive. Um, so to get a really hoppy beer and to make it really really well costs money and they haven't brewed a lot of this in fact it's one of those beers I'm really surprised they have individually numbered because I don't think they have met I don't think I've brewed um, too much of this one No, nothing particularly interesting. Drink fresh, hops fade fast. So it's recently come out, it's in the last couple of weeks this has come out. But it is a very good beer. Very good IPA. It's smooth. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It is nicely bittered. We have to taste, and we have to taste. We have to taste is fruity, so it's got so that fruit does carry on through into the aftertaste, and the back end has just got that bitter, almost a tanginess to it. Is it worth eleven quid? It's a lot of money to pay for a beer. If I'm being honest. No, I don't think any beer is worth 11 quid. I really don't. I, I think I understand the quality that's gone into it, the quality of the ingredients, the expense of the ingredients, the expense of brewing nowadays and canning and all that. I, un I understand that. I understand why it's come out at that price. And so that's the price I've been charged. I, I understand that and recognise that. But no beer is worth that.
but it's good. Um, so, uh, the Verdant Putty Triple IPA. Um, yeah, do you know what? It's it's a good beer. Nice and hoppy on the aroma, very, very fruity on the aroma. In the flavour, you get it all. You get grapefruit, pineapple, mango. It's got that lemon in there. It's got the kind of the, the peach in there as well. But yeah, it's got that vegetable taste. I like that. And it's their signature, so you, you can't get away from it. A nice piney bitterness at the back end. Um, sweet, not too sweet. Bitter, quite bitter. Quite like that. Um, I am going to score, I'm going to score it 9 out of 10. It loses half a mark on the price, and that's all I think I can knock it down from. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until the next review. Cheers, everybody.